Hi, Big Al again everybody. Um, today I'm going to show you how to fit one of these. Um, it's a little ball of fix stop valve, very handy and if you're working on anything, um, toilet system or you know roof tank ball valve like I'm going to be in a minute, uh, quite often they haven't got one of these attached and for a couple of quid that they are, they're worth putting on before you actually do the job you're going up to do um, because it saves you such a lot of time afterwards being able to shut off the device you're working on independently. I mean these are fitted you know, pretty robustly everywhere these days. Um, I mean I've, I've got one on my toilet system here somewhere on the, on the inlet if I pull the pipes out. You, if I pull that out there you'll see that one that's actually on there. You can see that one actually comes as part of the um, as the flex. It's part of the flexi that actually fits the toilet. Um, and they're, they're bloody handy. Um, I've got a pipe in here now um, that one there, that's, that one's got a little handle on it, it's a little bit more expensive. Um, that one's about five pound, but um, still does the job. That just goes to my outside tap and it means in the winter time I can shut it off. So especially important really, if you fit an outside tap, you definitely want one of these because you'll need to shut that tap off outside uh, for the winter time in case it freezes up. So I'm gonna show you how to fit one of these. I'll get up to my roof tank now, because I'm gonna work on that in a minute. I'm gonna put a new ball cock in. Okay, I'll show you that on a separate video if you've got problems with your ball cock up in the loft. Um, but I'm going to show you how to fit this little ball of fix shut off valve. Okay, so we'll go up in the loft next. Okay, everyone, so here we are up in my loft. Um, now, very first important thing to do turn the water off. You can make sure it's off by pushing the arm down because I'm putting a valve on this before I do it. Uh, and there's no water there, so now it's off. There's a the main feed in, and it's obviously been a long time, no valve on it. So in future, to make things a lot easier, I'm going to put a valve on there now. So the first thing to do is to cut the pipe. Very handy if you have what we call a plumber's tube cutter, which I'll show you now, which is um, one of these. If you haven't, don't worry, a junior axe will do the job. It just leaves a rougher edge and um, you may have to file it before you can put the nut and cone on. So there's our feed there. I'm going to undo the pipe or anything, although you can if you want to slide it in, but because I'm up in the loft I've got plenty of lee room on this, so I can afford to cut this anywhere about there. Make sure you've got enough to get the, the nut and cone on, and twist your pipe cutter so. You keep twisting it round and round, okay, until it slices through the pipe. Okay, there we are, we're through the pipe. There'll be a little tiny little bit of dead water there that's, that's just there because it's in the pipe. Don't worry about it. Now, when you fit these valves, um, you've got to remember that the body of the valve is that long. It's around about an inch roughly. So when you, you put your pipe on, you've got to cut a little bit off. Can you see that? For that to fit, I need to cut that much off because it's going to slide on that end and then it's going to be too long. So I've got to cut about an inch. It's roughly always an inch roughly. That's just a rule of thumb of mine that I've done for years. So I know roughly where to cut that because I've done it millions of times. So again, with your cutter or your junior hacksaw, just cut about an inch off, or, or you can measure exactly if you want to, but if you haven't got a lot of lee room to pull the pipe around. Okay, and then just chop it through. If you've got a cutter, I say, it does make life a lot easier, um, because it, it, just, it just leaves a nice finished edge. Okay, so we chop through there. I'll put that bit of copper tube up in a minute, I've cut through, because it, it's all expensive and worth money these days. Okay. First thing to do is put your nut and olives on. Okay, slide your nut on there, slide your olive on there, and the same with the other end. Okay, so you get your nut and olive, and slide it on the pipe, both sides, okay like that. Now you can do this up dry, slide this on and draw it, but I don't like to take chances because um, it's risky dry. Um, I like to use, uh, still an old-fashioned substance really these days but um, I still like to use Boss White um, they say it's banned on portable water these days but I've been using it for the last 45 years and I've never had any problems and you never get a leak with this stuff um, you know it depends on you now you can use PTFE tape if you'd rather uh, if you'd rather use PTFE then then do that but personally I like Boss White because it leaves the joint nice and moist so yeah, I'll just get the camera on there or you can see the boss white going on on the fitting on both sides, okay make sure it doesn't go inside around the outside like so okay 
and that, that's it, that's on. Okay, we're now safe enough to um, to put the, um, the fitting on. So, if I get the fitting now. Now, when you look at this, you'll see that there's a an arrow on it. You can see that. Now, if I show you that side, can you see that there? There's a little... I don't think I can in this light, but there's an arrow on it. I don't know if you can see that. Let's get it right under there for you. I'm going to drop the camera in the tank. You see that arrow is pointing that way to my thumb. That is the direction the fitting's got to go on. Okay, so make sure it's the right way round. Make sure the arrow is pointing in the direction of the flow. So, then, without further ado, we'll slide our pipes in to the fitting like that. See? And do them up finger tight. For now, Okay, position the valve so you can get a screwdriver to it to shut it off okay, and now we'll just do it up. Um, to do it up I use I used a, a pair of footprints we call them, an adjustable spanner. Okay, now I've wedged the um, valve in position, the camera I should say, in position, uh, and we'll just nip it up for you. I generally hold a pair of grips like this and put my spanner on the other side and just nip it up like so, if you can see that okay or not. Hopefully you can, it's a little bit dark here in the loft. We'll just nip him right down. And then the same for the other side. And we just put our grip, so once I've done one up, I can hold another against, and then just tighten him up here. If you can see that. Okay. Do him up, like so. And that's it, she's tight. Okay, this is all tightened up in position, and that's it, we're, we're done. Um, we can now turn the water off on our little valve. We have a screwdriver, we'll turn it sideways. That's the water off, okay. I'm going to go down and turn it on now, just check it out. Turn it all on, make sure there's no leaks of course, uh, and it's job done. Okay, so that's a nice little tip video from me if you want to fit yourself a little baller fix stop valve on any supply pipe you care to be working on or want to do in your home. Thanks very much for watching. Derrick and 33, all my videos. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.